All right, so today I'm gonna to be talking about my progress with using disulfiram for the treatment of Lyme disease, and it's day 72. So I apologize that I haven't been able to post a video for a couple months now. I've been really struggling with my health, so I do apologize. I went in and saw my doctor because I just felt like my symptoms weren't getting better, but they weren't getting worse. They were just kind of staying the same. Although I had some symptoms come up that weren't really there before. So I've been having increased headaches like right here. And um, I've been having shortness of breath, tachycardia. My heart rate would go up to about 116, 125, depending on the day and activity I was doing. And I have not been waking up feeling refreshed. I need like coffee and I need, um, like I want to nap halfway in the halfway in the day, and I said something's not right here, and this is not what I was having before, and we need to fix this. So I went in, and he basically told me that I wasn't at the I wasn't at a high enough dose yet. So right now I'm taking three quarters of a tablet every day, but I'm separating the doses out. So I'm taking one twenty five in the morning and then 62.50 in the evening. So before when I saw him, I was taking just half tablet, so 125. So now I'm taking a little bit more. And I've been at that dose for three or four days now, and I do feel a little bit better. Not all the way better, but a little bit better. So, so basically he said I wasn't at a high enough dose yet, and sometimes this happens to people when they're going through treatment. One dose works really well, and then all of a sudden it seems like it stops working, but you just need a higher dose. So I'm really hoping that with being on this dose that things are going to start getting better from here. Because I was just having a really hard time with, with working and getting out of bed, and it's really hard to concentrate at work when halfway in the day you want to nap. So... So yes, I do apologize that I haven't been on here as much as I was before. But that's kind of what's been going on. I've been in a huge flare. And so hopefully things will start getting better. I did want to mention though that he did put me on, what is it? Zinc. He put me on more zinc for my neuropathy because in my hands, like right here on my fingertips, I, if like right now when I'm touching my fingertips, it kind of feels like sandpaper. And that's the side effect of the disulfiram. So it's really serious when you get to the neuropathy part. So he put me on 60 milligrams of zinc every day because what he explained to me is when you take disulfiram with food, you actually increase, your body absorbs the copper in your food more. So if you were to take disulfiram on an empty stomach, you actually wouldn't absorb as much copper. But when you take the disulfiram with food, so if I was eating chicken and rice and there was copper in the chicken and I took disulfiram with it, I'm basically getting double copper because I took it with food. So he gave me zinc, cause zinc I guess pulls that out. So when you have too much copper in your body, you can get neuropathy symptoms. And so he thinks that doing this will minimize the neuropathy. And the neuropathy is something I've kind of noticed um, comes and goes. So hopefully it's going to stay away this time. But I've been thinking about upping my detox, maybe getting in the sauna more, stuff like that. So yeah, there's really not much to tell this time. Um, I've just been having a really hard time with the cardiovascular stuff and then uh, trying to get ahead of the, of the neuropathy. So... Yeah, there's not much to tell, but I will say that I accidentally missed a couple doses of disulfiram. And so what happened is I, life got really busy and I accidentally went two days without taking any. And during those two days, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like, oh man, I gotta take that disulfiram tonight because I do not feel good. It, I just kind of didn't feel much. But the third day, I'm telling you, the third day... I felt like death. I was so fatigued. I could hardly open like a water bottle. I was back to square one. It was just like how I felt before starting disulfiram. 
And I said, whoa, I've missed two doses. Like, I need to get back on this. So I got back on it. And sure enough, I'm doing better. I'm not 100% better. I don't feel as great as I did when I first started taking the disulfiram. But I do feel better than before. So, um, yeah. So I've been doing that for been off I've been back on it for a few days now and I'm starting to feel better but it was really encouraging to me actually because um when I was kind of in that flat line of not not getting better but not getting worse just kind of this awkward place no one wants to be in I started thinking to myself I said oh great another treatment that doesn't work because I've had so many that don't work and I said this is the last thing I need and I started thinking, is there something else I can be doing to make this work better? And being off for two days really showed me that, wow, like this medicine is working. It may not be working as much as you had hoped it would be at this point, but it is working. So I guess that was encouraging for me. So sorry I don't have a ton of good news today, but um, I'm hoping with the next couple of weeks, maybe um, I'll start to feel better and I can have a more positive video. But right now, I'm just trying to get my Babesia under control because these headaches and shortness of breath, tachycardia, and being tired all the time is not a fun thing to deal with. So I do apologize that it's not as good of a video as his last couple ones were. But I will post another video probably in the next two to three weeks because I increased to a whole tablet next week. So by the week after that, which would be about two weeks from now, I should do another video. So that's all I have for today and thanks for watching and have a Merry Christmas.